thank you for bringing us back together safely. We pray that during this meeting that we make the decisions that are best for the city. We also pray for the employees, the fire department, the police department, all of you. We pray that you keep them safe from harm. We also pray for our country. We hope that we make the decisions in our country that will keep us free as we are now. We ask all these blessings and these requests in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Next item on the agenda is a reading of the minutes of the previous council meeting. Members of the council have had an opportunity to review these. I will entertain a motion to approve. Motion. Have a motion to have a second. Second. Have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries unanimous. Next item on the agenda, communication is from the mayor. Well, we're back from our training classes, and I can honestly say that uh, I think every one of us took some classes that's going to be very beneficial to us. So, a lot of times in the past, we sometimes not been able to say that. But been a lot of changes take place in government. A lot of changes take place in laws. A lot of changes took effect in local laws July the 1st. But at any rate, we're back and uh, years have gone, folks. It's kind of hard to believe. But, we're in the seventh month. I've asked Miss Simpkins if she would to give us a financial update. I know you, you citizens want to know how much money you got in your pocketbook here in the city, whether we're taking good care of it or not. Miss Simpkins, if you would please give us an update on the financials, please. Thank you, Mayor and City Council. The, the answer to to that comment is the city's doing very, very well managing expenditures and revenues are blessed to have a great financial staff. Um, I'll just give you a brief summary. For the general fund, our revenue is coming in above what was budgeted, just over 2%. Primarily that is due to our local option sales tax. Um, it's coming in a little higher than what we budgeted. Um, our finance director worked with our bank where we hold our large reserve accounts back in February. And so our interest income is coming in at 84% at this point due to negotiated interest rates. Um, revenue for char from charges for services is slightly under our budgeted annual revenue, um, primarily because this revenue is generated from in the summer from pool admissions and rentals. And of course, we will see that pick up given that we are in full swing pool and summer season now. Expenditures in the general fund are less than projected by over 10%. Uh, primarily, this is due to some large capital projects and streets and roads that have not paid out of general fund as of May 31st, including $800,000 for a Deets Road traffic solution and about $350,000 for a roundabout at Steel Road and Max Smith. Um, just so you all know, this project has started. It's underway. Um, partial funding, um, the majority of the funding for that roundabout is from SPLOST. Um, also, there's an open position in street cleaning and, and a couple open positions in the police department, though our police department is doing a fantastic job um, getting some open positions filled. And we've had uh, one recently graduate from the police academy. Um, and our water and sewer fund, the revenue is coming in at about 1% over what was budgeted as of May 31st. Water and sewer sales are generally lower during the winter months, but will increase in the summer months, so we should see that, that revenue increase. Uh, expenses, the water and sewer fund expenses are under budget by about 30%, and this is largely due to only $2,000 being spent for sewer system mandates during the first five months of the year for our operating budget. Um, once again, 
uh, we have paid for the majority of our inflow and infiltration reduction projects out of SPLOST funds. We also budgeted an increase in the cost for the city of Chattanooga to process our sewer, uh, our sewage. This increase will impact the budget significantly beginning this month in July. Um, our SPLOST fund available balance at the end of May is just over $700,000 and our Walker County T SPLOST funds available at the end of May is just over $20,000. Thank you, Mayor and City Council. Thank you, Ms. Simpkins. Next item on the agenda is zoning matters. We have none. Next item on the agenda is ordinances. Item number one under ordinances, second reading of ordinance number 2019. Dash 23, Mr. Stokes. Ordinance number 2019-23, an ordinance to amend the code of ordinances of the city of Fort Oakthorpe, Georgia, to provide for certain revisions of Fort Oakthorpe, Georgia Code of Ordinances, Chapter 34, Environmental, Article 3, Nuisances. To provide for provisions therein is authorized by state law to provide for modification, to provide for severability, to repeal conflicting ordinances or parts thereof, to provide for an adoption effective date and for all other purposes allowed by law. Whereas the legislature of the state of Georgia adopted a state nuisance abatement law in order to empower local communities to combat negative impacts of unfit buildings and structures under OCGA section 412-7 at SEC. Whereas the legislature effective July 1st, 2001 amended OCGA 4127 et sec to further clarify nuisance abatement procedures and to provide further due process of law. Whereas it is the desire of the mayor and council of the city of Fort Oakthorpe, Georgia as a duly elected governing authority of the city to adopt nuisance abatement ordinances in compliance with the provisions of the state nuisance abatement code OCGA 4127 et sec. Therefore, be it ordained by the mayor and council in a regular meeting, the council will assemble pursuant to lawful authority thereof. Mayor, that we go out and set out the nuisance ordinance. Uh, it's available in the clerk's office. This is the second reading, and it will basically uh, amend all ordinances or parts thereof in conflict with this particular ordinance. Thank you, Mr. Stoltz. Item number two under ordinances, second reading of ordinance number 2019-24, Mr. Stokes. Ordinance number 2019-24, an ordinance to amend the code of ordinances of the City of Fort Oakthorpe, Georgia, to update the City of Fort Oakthorpe service fees and service charges so as to better equate said service fees and charges to the actual cost to the City of providing or making available such services to provide for a unified fee and expense schedule to provide for provisions therein as authorized by state law to provide for modification, to provide for severability, to repeal conflicting ordinances and parts thereof, to provide for an adoption effective date, and for all, for all other purposes allowed by law. Whereas the duly elected governing authority of the City of Fort Oakthorpe, Georgia is authorized under Article 9, Section 2, Paragraph 3 of the Constitution of the State of Georgia, the Official Code of Georgia, annotated 3635-3 and the Charter of the City of Fort Oakthorpe, Georgia, Section 6.15. And my copy's not good. To provide for services available within and outside the City of Fort Oakthorpe for the total cost to the City of providing and making such services available to adopt reasonable ordinances to protect and improve the public health, safety, welfare, and aesthetics of the citizens of the City of Fort Oakthorpe, Georgia, and whereas the duly elected governing authority of the City of Fort Oakthorpe is vested in the City Council composed of a mayor and five council members, and now therefore it is hereby ordained by the governing authority of the City of Fort Oakthorpe that the attached City of Fort Oakthorpe schedule of fees and charges attached here to as Exhibit A is hereby adopted in its entirety. If any part of this ordinance shall be held to be invalid or unconstitutional, such invalidity or unconstitutionality shall not affect or impair other parts of this ordinance unless it clearly appears that such other parts are wholly and necessarily dependent upon the part held to be invalid or unconstitutional, this, that this ordinance shall take effect from and upon its adoption by the mayor and council. Second reading, mayor. Thank you, Mr. Stokes. Item number three under ordinances. First reading of ordinance number 2019-25, Mr. Stokes. 
Ordinance number 2019-25, rezoning, be it ordained by the mayor and council of the city of Fort Oakthorpe, Georgia, and is hereby ordained by authority thereof, section one. That the following property owned by Fort Oakthorpe Marketplace, LLC, and known as MAP 0003A104-400 Battlefield Parkway, Suite 17, Fort Oakthorpe, Georgia, is hereby rezoned to a C2 special exception zoning. Said property is particularly described in Exhibit A attached to this ordinance. Section 2, if any part of this ordinance shall be held to be invalid or unconstitutional, such invalidity or unconstitutionality shall not affect or impair other parts of this ordinance, unless it clearly appears such other parts are wholly and necessarily dependent upon the part held to be invalid or unconstitutional. Section 3, that this ordinance shall take effect from and after its adoption by the mayor and council. This is first reading, Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Stoltz. Item number four, under ordinances, first reading of ordinance number 2019-26. Mr. Stokes. Ordinance number 2019-26, an ordinance to amend the code of ordinances, City of Fort Oakthorpe, Georgia, to provide for certain revisions of the Fort Oakthorpe, Georgia Code of Ordinances, Chapter 2, Article 1, in General Section 2.4 to provide for provisions therein is authorized by state law, to provide for modification, to provide for severability, to repeal conflicting ordinances or parts thereof, to provide for an adoption effective date and for all other purposes allowed by law. Whereas a duly elected governing authority of the city of Fort Oakthorpe, Georgia is authorized under Article 9, Section 2, Paragraph 3 of the Constitution of the State of Georgia, Official Code of Georgia, Annotated 3635-3 in the Charter of the City of Fort Oakthorpe, Georgia to adopt reasonable ordinances to protect and improve the public health, safety, and welfare of the citizens of Fort Oakthorpe, Georgia, and whereas the duly elected governing authority of the city of Fort Oakthorpe is vested in the city council, composed of a mayor and five council members, and whereas the city Council is desirous of providing for a streamlined, efficient method of procuring budget, services, and materials necessary for the efficient operation of the City of Fort Oakthorpe, and whereas the City Council is desirous of updating the Department titles and City Code to match the operating practices, and where the, whereas that all ordinances or parts of ordinances in conflict thereof are hereby repealed, and whereas that if any part of this ordinance shall be held to be invalid or unconstitutional, such invalidity or unconstitutionality shall not infect or impair other parts of this ordinance unless it clearly appears that such other parts are wholly and necessarily dependent upon the part held to be invalid or unconstitutional. Now, therefore, it is hereby ordained by the governing authority of the City of Fort Oakthorpe that the Code of Ordinances for the City of Fort Oakthorpe, Chapter 2, Article 1 in General, Section 2.4 Departments is departments created is hereby amended as follows. Old section 2.4 departments created. The following departments are created for the city administration, building, fire, municipal court, police, planning and zoning, streets, parks and recreations, and water and sewer. New section 2.4 departments created. The following departments are created for the city. City manager's office, finance, Human Resources, Building, Planning, and Zoning, Fire, Municipal Court, Police, Parks and Recreation, Parks, Public Works, and Public Utilities. This is the first reading, Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Stoltz. Item number five under ordinances. First reading of ordinance number 2019-27. Mr. Stoltz. Ordinance number 2019-27, an ordinance to amend the Code of Ordinances, City of Fort Oakthorpe, Georgia, to provide for certain revisions of the Fort Oakthorpe, Georgia Code of Ordinances, Chapter 2, Article 3, Finance Section 2.97, to provide for provisions therein is authorized by state law to provide for modification, to provide for severability, to repeal conflicting ordinances or parts thereof, to provide for an adoption effective date and for all other purposes allowed by law, whereas the duly elected governing authority of the city of Fort Oakthorpe, Georgia is authorized under Article 9, Section 2, Paragraph 3 of the Constitution of the State of Georgia, the Official Code of Georgia, Annotated 3635-3, and the Charter of the City of Fort Oakthorpe, Georgia to adopt reasonable ordinances to protect and improve 
public health, safety, and welfare of the citizens of Fort Oakthorpe, Georgia, and whereas the duly elected governing authority of the city of Fort Oakthorpe is vested in a city council composed of a mayor and five council members, and whereas the city council is desirous of providing for a streamlined and efficient method of procuring budgeted services and materials necessary for the efficient operation of the city of Fort Oakthorpe, Georgia, and whereas the city council is desirous of allocating and delegating authority to the city manager and department directors to procure services and materials needed by the city of Fort Oakthorpe when the same have already been approved through the budget process and council approved contracts. And whereas that all ordinances or parts of ordinances in conflict hereof are hereby repealed and whereas that any part of this ordinance shall be held to be invalid or unconstitutional, such invalidity or unconstitutionality shall not affect or impair other parts of this ordinance unless it clearly appears that such other parts are wholly and necessarily dependent upon the part held to be invalid or unconstitutional. Now, therefore, it is hereby done to the governing authority of City of Fort Oakthorpe that the Code of Ordinances for the City of Fort Oakthorpe, Chapter 2, Article 3, Finance Section 2.97, Expenditures, is hereby amended as follows. This particular ordinance is available, Mayor, in the Council's office and the Clerk's office. It's quite extensive. First reading. Thank you, Mr. Stoltz. Next item on the agenda is resolutions. Resolution number 2019-06. Do you have that one, Ms. Sapkins? I do. Uh, Mayor and City Council, this resolution is requesting an update to our position control and pay plan. Um, the updates include a new department director for a new department, Parks and Recreation, as well as um, it reclassifies the court clerk to the municipal court court department director in keeping with the city code structure for this department. Thank you, Ms. Simpkins. I have a motion to approve. Make a motion. Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Ms. James. Yes. Mr. Child. Yes. Mr. Crawford. Yes. Mr. Rogers. Yes. Motion carries unanimous. <clears throat> Next item on the agenda, unfinished business. We have none. Next item on the agenda, reading of the city clerk of any communications. We have none. Next item on the agenda is new business. Item number one under new business, request for engineering service task order number 2019-10. Mr. Parker. Mayor, this is a request to extend the current uh, CTI uh, construction administration for the current rehab project we have going on. Uh, due to extra work that we gave to the contractor, uh, some emergency repairs and weather, the contract on this project will probably end about September. Uh, originally, it was scheduled to end in March, uh, but it was ex extended. Uh, the CTI, original CTI contract was supposed to end also in March. And due to the lack of work in the winter months, they were able to extend the work uh, through June. So this is just a request to extend them, not to exceed uh, $29,500. Thank you, Mr. Parker. I have a motion to approve. Make a motion. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries unanimous. Item number two under new business, proposed ratification of contract with Mays Construction Company for sewer extension. Mr. Parker. Now, Mr. Mayor, this is the uh, sewer extension for what uh, we refer to it as called Parkway Phase 1. It's out by Costco. Um, it'll run from Scruggs Road parallel with uh, Cobb Parkway up to the top of the hill. Uh, we advertised the bids. We received three bids. Mays was the lowest bid uh, attached. You should find a recommendation letter from the engineers. So we recommend approval uh, for the amount of $136,430. Thank you, Mr. Parker. I have a motion to approve. <clears throat> motion. Do I have a second? Second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries unanimous. Thank you. Item number three under new business, 
proposed approval to Catoosa County School System letter of support for college and career academy. Ms. Simpkins. Uh, Mayor and Council, this item of business requests your approval uh, to send a letter of support to Catoosa County Public School Systems for their application to the state for a college and career academy. Thank you, Ms. Simpkins. I have a motion to approve. Make a motion. I have a second. Second. Motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries unanimous. Item number four under new business, proposed approval of Highway 41 Phase 4 sewer. Mr. Parker. Uh, Mr. Mayor, this is uh, CTI Task Order 2019-12. It's for engineering services to provide for bidding, construction, administration, RPR services, and easement uh, acquisition assistance on Highway 41 Phase 4 uh, sewer. Um, we've got approvals on Phase 3 uh, simply because the dollar amounts were lower, but uh, what we're planning to do at this point is to advertise Phase 3, Phase 4 at the same time. and. Um, have a much better idea on the cost of what's going to be facing in the future. This contract will be for seven months. It's the expected construction time, which will include a pump station. Uh, it'll include a couple of fours uh, under Highway 41 to accommodate uh, Cloud Springs Lodge in that area. <clears throat> and this will be uh, funded from the 2014 uh, Tooth County Splost uh, West Chickamauga Sewer Basin monies allocated to uh, Fort Overthorpe for sewer projects. The dollar amount is uh, $108,000. Thank you, Mr. Parker. I have a motion to approve. Motion. We have a second. Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, motion carries unanimous. Thank you. Item number five under new business. <clears throat> Proposed approval of Lookout Mountain Judicial Circuit Multi-Jurisdictional Drug Task Force MOU. A mouthful there. Chief Helton. Good evening, Mayor and Council. This uh, MOU that we're asking for approval and ratification of is a continuation of what the city's had with the Ju Judicial Drug Task Force for a number of years. Uh, it's just the 2019 uh, year. It covers throughout the end of the year. Uh, there's no additional expenses expected in this particular contract. Thank you, Chief Helton. I have a motion to approve. Motion. I have a second. <coughs> second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries unanimous. Item number six under new business, propo proposed approval to deed 2015 Dodge Ram truck 1500 SLT to Dr Drug Task Force. Chief Help. Yes, sir. In 2015, uh, the city was still in the contract that you just approved with the MOU, if you would, with the Drug Task Force. And what they typically do is they buy vehicles and then they'll provide one to the person that you have uh, involved in the task force to be able to drive. This vehicle was bought and paid for by drug task force funds and by the, the, the persons in charge of the drug task force. Uh, I think the packet you have contains the documentation of that purchase, the minutes of the executive board meeting. Uh, they bought it from uh, Mountain View Chrysler Dodge. But they're asking at this time that uh, the title be able to be signed back over by the city's representative. Uh, since they bought it originally, it's been titled and insured by the city in that time frame. They're going to replace it with a newer vehicle. Uh, they, they want to relinquish this one. I think they're going to use it in another city, probably Lafayette from what I understand, and uh, provide a new one. Thank you, Chief Helton. I have a motion to approve. Make no a motion. motion. Se second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries unanimous. Item number seven under new business. Proposed approval to purchase mobile data terminals. Chief Help. Yes, the, the police department's been in need of mobile data terminals for quite some time. This will enable us to accomplish several things. One, keep our officers on the streets uh, more visible to the public, more, more of a crime deterrent if the officers can uh, remain in their cars and not have to come to headquarters as much to complete reports, frankly. 
though they do work a 12-hour shift, an occasional break is good, but if you get lengthy amount of reports or complicated reports, um, they could do those from their cars and we get more patrol, more visibility time. Um, it's also a, a current technology that's common in law enforcement for, for officers to be out there. And the, the new Dodge Chargers that you've been buying, we have the technology capability to be able to put a barrier around those cars. If somebody approaches some of those while they're doing reports, then it sets off sensor alarms on the cars. I mean, it, society is expecting that these kinds of tools are out there now. We went out for bid in April. We had six bidders respond to our process. Those companies were ProLogic, Howard Technologies, Dana Safety Supply, HyperTech USA, Patriot Technologies, and Island Tech Services. Uh, we began working with the lowest bidder in this case, talking with them. Once we uh, condensed down and evaluated our bids, it is Howard Technology. Uh, we were able to bring the prices to $73,162. Uh, so we would recommend, uh, we did go out for bid for a Panasonic Toughbook device or its equivalent. This company provided an equivalent and actually a uh, newer processor, which our IT gentleman states that it's a little more superior than a Panasonic Toughbook. So it's our recommendation to buy 26 of these. This would outfit our entire patrol division their captain and our training officer to all have a computer in their cars. And of course the vehicle mounts. We have 10 Dodge Charger mounts. We have to buy six Crown Vicks and 10 Ford Interceptor mounts. They're different prices. Thank you, Chief Helton. I have a motion to approve. Motion. Second. Have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries unanimous. Item number eight under new business, proposed approval to purchase radios for fire department. Chief Ballou. Mayor and Council will come for you tonight to request your approval for the purchase of portable radios and pagers for the fire department. Uh, we've decreased the number of radio, portable radios that we will purchase after the ISO came through and gave us a rating. We found that we don't need as many as we thought we would need, so we've down downgraded that from 10 to 5 and he also recommended that we have a secondary means of paging our or alerting our firefighters because they don't recognize the cell phone alerting so we're requesting to purchase uh, 14 personal pagers now on the radios did get notice today since you mentioned that there a lot of stuff has changed in the state since 1st of July one of the changes was the way the state goes out for bids and the price on the radios will come down by $1,104 and a few cents. Thank you, Chief Blue. I have a motion to approve. Motion. Make a motion. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Mr. Mayor, uh, before you take a vote, can I tell you what the cost is? Well, I, we got it in the paper. What? You told us to discount that help. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Most important part. <laughs> without, without the discount, it was thirty-five thousand nine hundred ninety-five dollars and forty two cents. Yeah, we figured we'd just go take a thousand off this. Thank you, sir. <laughs> All in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carries unanimous. Thank you, Chief Blake. Thank you, sir. Next item on the agenda: City Manager's Report. The city. Mayor and, and City Council, I don't have a lot tonight except a couple thanks to the fire department. Um, one is uh, our fire department received a grant for $2,310 from JP Morgan FM Global for the purchase of iPads. So congratulations, Chief Blue, that's fantastic. Thank you. We love grants when we can get them. Um, additionally, we'd like to say publicly a thank you to our fire department for their outstanding daily service. Um, and also, if, if you all have a chance, Google Fort Oglethorpe Fire Department um, surprising a woman, Rizzy, on her 29th birthday. And you will see some awesome press, a couple of videos, and I understand a couple of the videos <coughs> have gone viral now. Um, to make a, a long story short, basically, the, this lady named Rizzy is a, turned 29 on July 3rd. She's a woman with Down syndrome. 
and her mother requested a tour of one of our fire stations for her birthday and our fire department took that one step further and took a fire truck out to her home and surprised her and allowed Rizzy to live out her dream of being a firefighter. So thank you, Chief Ballou and Fort Oglethorpe Fire Department for all that you do. Thank you. That's all I have here. Thank you, Ms. Simpkins. Next item on the agenda is City Council <coughs> comments. Ms. James. Uh, looks like we've completed another audit for the year ending 2018 and I ask that our city manager give our thanks to our finance department. They've done a great job and we really appreciate that. There's a lot of work goes into that and people don't realize how much work goes into it. So Absolutely. if you would pass that out. I'll do it. Thank you. That's all I have. Thank you, Mr. James. Mr. Childs? Uh, no comments to that, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Childs. Mr. Crawford? I'd just like to say uh, good job, uh, Ms. Simpkins, and, and with your staff and all the department heads and everything. Uh, it's, it's been a good year so far, and, and they keep on uh, going above and, and not just being a job, but also being a part of the city and making it great and making it good for our community. But we appreciate you guys. Thank you. You might want to add her our, our uh, recreation department fair. I think this past weekend you might want to share that with them. Well, our our baseball team, our 11-year-old team, went to Disney World for a World Series down there, and we finished runner-up in that to, from the team from Puerto Rico. So uh, those boys have put in a lot of work, and I appreciate that, Mayor. Yeah, they they did a good job. They had fun too. They got to see Mickey Mouse, so they enjoyed that as well. So it was a it was a great week. Hot but great week. What about Goofy? Yeah. It's it's pretty good. They, they it's, see good I'm, pretty good. Good. I'm sorry, I wasn't there. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good bragging rights so when you a little town like Fort Oglethorpe, you go to a World Series and you compete against the Dominican Republic and Taiwan and, and not just people in the United States here but really pretty much the world and in a little old uh, 10,000 population town here finished second so congratulations well, I appreciate yes. that. well done mr. Rogers I'll add to it because I was there I had the opportunity to go down and he's a great city councilman but he's also a heck of a baseball coach <laughs> his team was incredible they were undefeated going into the championship game and um, not only did they play really well, but they also, um, if you were there, you, they were basically favorites of the umpires. and like They're just good kids. The coaches are great. And um, I guarantee you that a lot of those people from around the world and a lot of those people driving up I-75 on their way home saw the Fort Oglethorpe sign on exit 353 and had good feelings about it. Um, and um, they did a great job. I, I enjoyed getting to watch them play. Thank you, Mr. Roger, Mr. Childs. One other thing I forgot, because uh, Paula's not here, but this the the party we had over here was a very success. Uh, I have a buddy of mine that gives money for things for the slides. Mark, he said it started out slow, and they all of a sudden they came and you couldn't move. He said it was great. Patriotism. Yes. Yeah. The patriotism at the park. So anyway. had a lot of good comments on the fireworks. Yeah, yeah. They had. He said. Uh, he said they had a great fireworks show. So, anyway. Thank you, Mr. Child. The next item on the agenda is citizens' petitions and requests. Gwen Hudgens. Mayor, if I may, um, we spoke with Miss Hudgens earlier, and, and let the record show that Miss Hudgens is not present. Next item on the agenda is executive session. We do not have anything for executive session tonight. Final item on the agenda is adjournment. I will entertain a motion to adjourn. Make a motion. Second. Have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 This meeting is adjourned. <laughs>